that we have the full solved yellow cross, which means we have the yellow cross on top as well as the solved side parts to it. We can go on with solving the last part of the layer, which is the edges, of course. And for this, we just have to check out if there is any edge which is correctly located yet. Correctly located in this first step means it's not necessarily that all the sides are flipped correctly, but the location should be right, which means the colors are according to the adjacent colors of the sides. For this example, for example, we find that this side has blue, yellow and red according to blue, yellow and red of the sides of the cube. So this one piece is correctly positioned. Check if there is any piece in the correct location yet. Again, this means the colors of the stickers of the corner pieces match with the neighboring face colors. We don't care about the flip of the corner pieces at this point. This piece, for example, is wrong. Whereas this piece sits in its correct location. There are three possible states. Unless you are very lucky again and all pieces are correct, either you will find one piece in its correct location or none. The algorithm to solve it is again the same in all cases. If you don't find any piece in its correct position, just apply the following algorithm and afterwards one piece will be correct. I will explain the algorithm for the case of one correct piece because it's more intuitive. What will this algorithm do? Let's orient the cube in a way that the correct corner piece is on the right of the front layer. This piece won't be affected by the algorithm. The other three corner pieces will permutate counterclockwise. At the same time they will flip, but we don't care about this right now. Since we permute three pieces, we need to apply this algorithm a maximum of two times to finish this leg. Here is what we have to do. Simply speaking, we just manipulate the left and the right layer. Since we want to retain our correct piece, we always have to save it throughout this process. If we follow this rule, the algorithm is quite easy to remember. We begin by saving our corner piece by a 90 degrees clockwise rotation of the top layer. Then we can safely manipulate the right layer by a 90 degrees clockwise rotation. Now we save our corner piece again by turning the top layer 90 degrees counterclockwise. We are safe to manipulate the left layer by rotating it 90 degrees counterclockwise. Save the corner piece again by a 90 degrees clockwise rotation of the top layer. And then rebuild the right layer by rotating it 90 degrees counterclockwise into its original position. Save the corner piece a last time by a 90 degrees clockwise rotation of the top layer. And finish by rebuilding the left layer by turning it 90 degrees clockwise. That's it. In this example, two corner pieces show even the correct flip. This might be different for your cube. The rule of thumb is simply that we rotate first the right and then the left layer away from us and rebuild it afterwards. Short speaking, save piece, rotate right. Save piece, Rotate left. Save piece, rebuild right. Save piece, rebuild left. In the case you have one correct piece, but you need to apply the algorithm twice to finish the leg, you could even shortcut by applying the same algorithm mirrored and therefore permutate the three pieces clockwise instead. Here's an example. In this configuration, we find one correct piece and notice that a clockwise permutation would be the shortest way to solve it. In this case we orient the cube in a way that the correct piece is on the left within the front layer. Now we apply almost all the same steps mirrored. 
Save the piece by a 90 degrees counterclockwise rotation of the top layer. Manipulate the left layer first by a 90 degrees counterclockwise turn. Save the corner piece again. Manipulate the right layer by a 90 degrees clockwise rotation. Save the piece. Rebuild the left layer. Save the piece. Rebuild the right layer. And we are done.